Hello folks, it's me, Mr. Wrestlemania. I'm back again for another review. So, here's the deal. What's been going on in WWE currently right now, it's the road to Wrestlemania. And, now we've been wanting to figure out what matches are going to happen. Well, currently right now, some of the small matches are interesting. And some of the highlighting matches, well, some of the, well, I'll tell you what, there's, there's title matches. As you know, currently, for the title match, is going to be Alberto Del Rio versus that forgettable one-time, no, uh, one-time heavyweight champion, what's his name? Um, I can't even remember his name, that's how unimportant he is. And he's a real American. Everybody knows him. Everybody knows him besides me. Because nobody wants to remember him. And also, Alberto Del Rio. I really don't like Alberto Del Rio because he's kind of an idiot. But here's, but here's the thing. This whole WrestleMania is a redemption uh, for John Cena. Now, the big highlighting match is this. The big highlighting match is John Cena versus The Rock. Everybody knew it was coming, and everybody knows that, Rock, you're going to drop the title to Cena this year because you want to go back and make movies. What comes to me, what comes to this part, a lot of people are probably going to hate on me right now. Why people are going to hate on me? Because The Rock is a horrible actor. Why is he a horrible actor? Because every time he stands in a movie, he looks like The Rock. He's Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Dwayne Johnson, that's his name. But fans, they call him Dwayne The Rock Johnson. But, you know, he's Dwayne Johnson. That's who he is. That's who he is in real life. He looks like his persona character, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. The Rock. So, what movie are we talking about today? Well, before we get to our movie, let's keep talking about WWE for real quickly. Also... Sam, that idiot Sam Punk has done it again, and he has stolen the urn that was officially used by Paul Bear. May he rest in peace. Oh no, it's the Undertaker. Yes, he, you know, may he rest in peace. He passed away recently, and uh, Undertaker came out to honor his name. And what does Sam Punk do? He comes out. And he disgraces the Paul Bear name, which Paul Bear was barely seen at t at points. Paul Bear was barely seen at points. So here's the thing: is was Paul Bear a good manager? Well, at points he was, he, and reason why the guy died because he was overweight. He passed away because of a heart attack. So here's the thing. Here's what I have to say about this whole thing. CM Punk is a horrible wrestler. A horrible, horrible wrestler. That, honestly, I think that should just quit at his day job, being a professional wrestler, and just doing his job and maybe going back to Chicago and flipping hamburgers. It was his destiny. Oh, by the way, I watched his documentary. Yawn. I couldn't. I, f I fell asleep five times. During his documentary. Because I was just so bored. John Cena's documentary. The Rock's documentary. Were, was actually better than CM Punk's. Be besides. His documentary is forgettable. Literally. His documentary is forgettable. So. What's. The whole Brock. Now here's another thing. Brock Lesnar. Versus Triple H. Another redemption match. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Brock Lesnar has face busted open. So, now there is a, a match. And, oh, by the way, his Brock Lesnar's manager, the Walrus, put a stipulation, but won't tell us the stipulation. And then, also, I'm glad, he, I'm glad Triple H kicked the, the manager's ass because he says, oh, by the way, who wins gets Triple H's wife. But if the, you know... The winner got Triple H's wife. What would be the difference? And then Triple H finished that and kicked his ass. And uh, after 
hours and hours of the manager screaming out for his help. Basically, this happened. Brock Lesnar comes out after he gets his ass kicked, after he gets his shirt ripped off by Triple H getting his ass kicked. Triple H signs the contract, not even knowing the stipulations of the match. So, let's get to the point here. I'm Let's get to the point why I'm doing this review today. I've come to review Schnitch with Dwayne Johnson. What do I have to say about Dwayne Johnson? Known as Dwayne the Rock Johnson. He's a horrible actor. Even though that other people say that he's a brilliant actor, I think honestly, I did not I didn't even know what this I, I haven't even seen the story behind this movie. Basically it's based off a true story. Now here's the thing about me, Mr. WrestleMania. <coughs> if you're watching my review, stop watching my review and go see now. This is going to be a spoiler, but you know what? I'm going to come out and just say it. So, the whole movie the whole movie is based on a father is basically divorced from his other family and now he has another family. He works for a trucking company. He is the boss of a trucking company. He's a billionaire and he works at this trucking he is the boss of this trucking company. Well, so in the, in the process of this, his other son that he basically abandoned, and he still cares about his son, he ends up dealing with drugs and ends up getting a tracker on him. So he ends up getting thrown in prison because he, was, he had drugs shipped to him and all this stuff. So what happens is Dwayne ends up going after, coming, you know, finding out, and then he ends up trying to figure out a way and the son won't snitch. He won't snitch on another kid. It will have drugs. So he decides to get the crap beat out of him in prison. Everybody knows that the you know a typical suburban kid couldn't last that long in prison. So he ends up getting the crap kicked out of him. So Dwayne decides that he's going to go undercover into the drug cartel to try to snitch on them. And the first run is perfect. Everything goes down. So things go wrong, and then the people start saying, hmm, this is good, this is good. You know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? We're going to make you go farther. So in the process of the whole film, everything is going down. Now the cartel even knows that the fact that who Dwayne is, and that he's this, he's this guy trying to help his son for the feds, and now everything is going downhill, and to the entire movie, you know, the storyline was decent. But Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I'm sorry, you guys could have picked a better actor to be in this film, honestly. You know, I think, you know, somebody else could, they could have honestly picked somebody else to be in this film. But, you know, they chose Dwayne The, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, I don't know. The guy, wrestling, actors that perform in wrestling are good at what they do. But when they step into the film era, Hollywood, they're absolutely horrible. I I have not seen the Marine 3, and I probably will not watch the Marine 3 because The Miz is in it, and I think he's a horrible actor. I have not watched it, but if I wanted to, I'd probably stab my eyes. Oh, by the way, I give this movie one stabbing. That's what I give it. Stab, well, I, basically, my opinion, this is my opinion of the rock, Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson, this sharp knife. And that's very dull in perspective. And also, <clears throat> WWE has a good title, the spinner belt for the WWE title. The Rock says, oh, I don't want a toy, put this in the Hall of Fame. So he brings out a title, and the title is bland. So bland that I wanted to say, holy crap. Really? Really? Really, you're going to bring out such a bland title? He has the Brahma Bull on both sides of the title, saying, this is the Rock title. This is the Rock title. This is my title. We know it's yours, Rock. You got, you, you got everything on there, strapped on there. But what I also have to say about Snitch, if you want to go see a bland movie, go, you know, if you want to go see a bland actor and a good storyline, 
go see Snitch. I went to go see it with a friend of mine, and I have to say that I was impressed with the movie, but not with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Um, you know, nothing is John Cena. You know, he has some good parts about him, but he all all these wrestlers can do is play tough guys. They can't play soft and lovey dovey characters. And my thing is WrestleMania twenty nine is coming up. I will be reviewing that when it is over. Now here's the thing the shield. The shield is in the WWE right now. It's a rip off of the Nexus, basically. People that go against the cause of good. And honestly, in my opinion, I think the shield is ridiculous. They look like a bunch of gunmen are walking around. They're wearing combat vests, combat boots, all black and everything. And they come out. They terrorize different people. They look like gunmen, honestly. Crazed, lunatic gunmen. And honestly, here's the thing. I... You know, it's going to be interesting at WrestleMania 29. But you know, folks, this is all I have to say. But you know what? I'm Mr. WrestleMania. I review it because I have to. See you later.